inflation coupled with higher gas prices is a concern for so many, especially organizations that put together meals for people in need. And today we caught up with two food service assistance programs. And they tell us they haven't felt a direct impact, but are preparing for what may come. WRTV's Nikki Dimitri spent the day talking to these organizations, finding out how they are tracking rising costs and how they're planning to deal with it in the short term. It's a busy Thursday at Second Helpings in Indianapolis. Pallet after ballot. Prepared and perishable food came into the nonprofit. Every day, more than 4,500 meals are made and distributed to 90 or so local social service agencies. So when we make food, you know, it's pans of 25 at a time or we're making thousands of sandwiches at a time. And the need may continue to grow. That's why Second Helpings is monitoring the trends as gas prices, among other costs, sharply rise. Second Helpings does a great job of adapting to whatever the environment is. The U.S. Labor Department reports inflation's hit a 40-year high. Prices for consumers rose nearly 8% over the last year. We're always watching, we're preparing, we're thinking ahead just to make sure that we are able to serve the community. There's no big immediate impact of skyrocketing prices right now, but the nonprofit is making incremental changes like condensing routes to cut down on cost. Meals on Wheels of Central Indiana is doing the same. In the last two years, I think yeah. we're just prepared for anything. Meals on Wheels 2 says so far they felt no direct impact. Prices for meals, they've been able to keep the same, but admittedly, it's been a challenge. We responded with COVID and will respond with this. Volunteers are the backbones for both food assistance programs. Life happens, so we always need more volunteers in case um, we need a sub that day or just our routes get bigger. And both say whatever happens next, they'll be there for the community. And we really do see the fluctuations w with what's happening in the economy, and we're always ready to ramp up meals when needed or to find other ways to serve our community through food. Working for you, Nikki Dementri, WRTV. And we will have a list of food assistance resources on our website, WRTV.com.